Well, boys and girls, how are you? Today, you're going to build a house using the program 3D10. And after you build your house, you're going to be in for a big surprise. If you look at the screen, you will see a large box with a lot of little boxes inside. This is called a grid. We're going to pretend that the grid is the ground where we're going to build our house on top of. Now, on the top bar, you will see different shapes, which we already went over in lessons prior, geometric shapes. Before you click on your shape, always click select to make sure you'll be able to click on your shape. Now, right here, what you will do is click on this box right here. After you click on the box, you will see other shapes appear. Now you need a box for your foundation. Once we click on the box, we're going to click add. But if you notice, this box looks kind of small. We don't want a little tiny house. We want a big house. So we're going to click on the house and we're going to hit select. If you notice, I made too many boxes so we can always you make a mistake, don't worry. All you have to do is click on your leaf, and that's how you can get rid of some of your boxes. Hit select again. We're going to go back to the box so we can make it larger. When you click on the box on the bottom, you'll see some more tools appear. Click on edit. That's where you can make your changes. You see right here where you see the number three? Well, one number is for the height of your house, how tall your house is. So we're going to change it to, let's change it to a 5. Click inside the box. Delete, 5. Down on the bottom is how wide your house is. We're going to also make that a number 5. After you change the height and the width of your house, click apply. Now you have a nice square for your house. What do we need on the top of the house? A roof. Go back. Before you click on your shape, always click select. Go back to the top and we're going to click on the same box to see our different geometric shapes. Now, for the roof, instead of using the box, we're going to click on wedge. After you click on wedge, you may change the size of your roof. Now, since the house is five feet, I mean, f since we use the number five for the height and the width, we're going to use the same numbers for our wedge. Click add. And if you notice, this is the roof. But the roof, you put it on top like this, it's too small. Or you just slant it. So we need to turn it around. We need to rotate it. So in order to do that, First, let's click on the. I'm going to put it there. And this is what it looks like. Click select. Always hit select. Now we are going to change our wedge by rotating it around. So you click on the wedge. At the bottom, you will see a little round circle like a little moon. And it says rotate. Click on rotate. So that way we can move it around. And here you have your Y and your X so you can see the different angles of the roof. To turn it around, you click on the little circle on the bottom here. And it will change. Let's go back this way and see what happens. It's always good to experiment. We want our roof. Then we're going to move it down and here you have your house. I think we need to rotate a little bit more. Let's take our grid, move it up, and make sure. Look, if you take a look at the angle of our ground and the house, you can see our house is sitting correctly on top of the ground. Next, 
we are going to move it around and make sure to look at the back side of the house the side of the house uh oh but if you look at this angle right here you will see that there's an opening we need to close the opening because if it rains we don't want it to get wet in our house how do you close it you select it again and you go up here and click on the roof so that you see how it changed to a hand I need to bring it down some by clicking on let's see rotate you put back on the house and bring it down bam da 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 all right now let's rotate and take a look at it again make sure we don't have any openings if we do want to make sure that our house wow isn't that neat I love it I even love the color okay, I'm gonna look at all the way around the house because that's what builders do they look all the way around and check everything to make sure there's no cracks or openings to prevent rain or snow to come inside alright just turn it around so you can see the front of the house. Now you have your house. Next, we are going to save the house on the 3D Tin program so that way we can upload it to our 3D printer. Oh, yes. 3D printer means that you will be able to take this picture right here. This geometric shape design that you created and print it out on a special printer so you will actually have an object that you'll be able to touch and to hold in a three dimensional form. And if you like, you can take this and use it for your game piece that we um, discussed earlier with your group when you work with your partner we actually had the lesson remember we had to create your game pieces so you can actually use this object as one of your game pieces for your game board 